I honestly feel that the biggest impact I can have personally as a scientist is by helping train and inspire the next generation of biochemists to go out and make great discoveries and change the world for the better. This is what motivates the bumbling biochemist work. It's what makes me so excited about my new position and the faculty at St. Mary's College of California. And it's why I'm so grateful for my collaboration with the International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, first as a student ambassador, then as a trainee ambassador, and starting next month as an ambassador for trainees, where I'll be kind of acting as a liaison between the trainee world and the world of the faculty and this sort of things and kind of helping promote the IUBMB trainee initiative, um, the IUBMB in general, as well as various ways that we can, working on various ways that we can better help trainees from, um, from a different perspective in this case. And so I'll tell you more about that in a minute, but I wanna step back and tell you a little bit more about myself to help set the st stage. If it wasn't for my professors, my undergraduate professors at St. Mary's, especially my research mentor, Dr. Jeff Sigmund, I wouldn't have believed that I could be a scientist. I didn't see myself as a scientist, as capable of being a scientist. I didn't think I had it in myself. And they helped show me that I did have it in myself, that I could be a scientist, that I can be a scientist. And it really changed my life for the better. And I want to help show other people that they have it in them too. They have the potential to be a scientist. And this is what's motivated the bumbling biochemist work, to try to make biochemistry fun and accessible for all, to help people see it as an option. And so I try to make all my content, I make all my content like freely available and I try to help as many people as I can. But I know that even if people have the mental ability the, to become a scientist, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have the resources to become a scientist. And I can only provide so, so much resources. I can only provide some of these lecture videos and things like this. Some graphics. So I drew my best, but there's a lot more that's needed. There are years and years of quality education, of hands-on experience that are needed in order to become a scientist. And unfortunately, a lot of people do not have access to this. And so that's why I'm so grateful for the work that the IUBMB does, offering fellowships and things like this for scientists around the world who might not have access to resources like this in order to go train in other countries and do things like this. And so I'm so grateful for the IUBMB's work and grateful that they have like allowed me to help them with their work and spreading the message and help spread my own message as well. So I'm really excited to keep um, serving a role with them um, this time well, now, I mean, I guess, as ambassador for trainees. And so I'm starting, instead of like weekly briefings, I'm going to do monthly briefings. Um, and I will be highlighting various things um, about the transition, about things from a faculty perspective, about various things. Um, maybe I'm still kind of, we're playing around with some different ideas, maybe having students contribute a bit, um, extra credit maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere in terms of my IUBNB collaboration. And so I'll still be acting with the trainee initiative, um, but this time from a, um, from a different perspective. So I won't be on the leadership committee of the PA, um, PAS, I can never remember the acronym, PASMB, um, the American group of the biochemists, um, but I will be serving still on basically keeping an eye on what's going on in the training initiative, still out hanging out on all the Slack channels and things like this. And I will be telling you about what they're up to um, and helping promote the work that they're doing. So they have some excite we, or I guess still we, have some exciting things um, planned. And so I'm really excited to kind of help spread the word about the training initiative among faculty and things like this, as well as use the training initiative as a way to kind of stay, stay in touch with trainees and best help spread their message to, to the broader community and see what we can do to help make conditions better for trainees and help advance them as much as we can. And so I'm really excited to keep doing this work with the IUBMB and I'm really excited for being able to personally mentor a bunch of students at St. Mary's. Um, and so going back is just so, so gratifying and I'm so, so looking forward to it. Um, so. I honestly, everything I do, I really just like helping people. I like helping people learn, whether it's just because it's really cool to know about or because 
they want to be a scientist and maybe they don't think that they could be a scientist. And so I want to help as many people as possible, both think that they can be a scientist and actually become a scientist. And I know that it's a long road and it's a lot of work um, to become a scientist and it takes a village, um, but hopefully I can play a small part. And if one of my students wins a Nobel Prize, that would make me way happier than myself winning a Nobel Prize. And so I'm just one person. Yes, I might make some little discovery, um, but think about if I trained a bunch of people and I mentored a bunch of people and I have this bigger reach and each of those people goes and they pay it forward and they help another person. Well, pretty soon you've catalyzed a lot, a lot of positive change. And so I hope that I can keep acting as a source for the better and um, that's basically it. And I don't know how to end this, but I'll just say, have a great day.